Greetings and welcome to today's webinar, Seven Reasons to Choose Acromag's New Kintec 7 XMC FPGA Module. I am Roland Demko of the Acromag Embedded Solutions Group. I will do my best to describe the merits of this new FPGA offering from Acromag. I'd like to start off by saying that this new FPGA module is a must for customers who are looking for simpler tools and lower entry cost into a pretty powerful FPGA, using one of Acromag's existing FPGA offerings and want to get more power in a very price competitive XMC module, or are involved with applications in radar, image processing, signal processing, and communications. So why choose Acromag's Kintec 7 based FPGA? This is a good question with seven really good answers. Briefly, and we'll elaborate as we move into the main body of the presentation, more logic cells and block RAM, more DSP slices, lowest power consumption, easiest development environment, GTX transceivers, three versions to address special applications, and best price with most features. Before we move into the seven reasons for the selection of Acromag's Kintec 7 XMC FPGA module, I'd like to ever so briefly mention that there are six XMC FPGA modules in the offering. They come with front AXMIO mezzanine support in a fully conduction cooled format and in a front I.O. format supporting high-speed Ethernet communications. All of these in two FPGA device sizes, 325,000 logic cells and 410,000 logic cells. There is an engineering development kit, and operating system support is available for Windows, Linux, and VxWorks. Let's look at reason one, more logic cells and block RAM. We see that Acromag offered 364,000 logic cells in its Vertex 6 XMC FPGA project, product, which is now superseded by the 406,000 logic cells in the new Kintex 7K410. This large number of logic cells easily accommodates the microblaze and other IP logic. Likewise, that same Vertex 6 XMC FPGA platform offered a huge 14,976 kilobits of block RAM. This has also been superseded by the 16,020 kilobits and 28,620 kilobits offered in the Kintex 7K325 and Kintex 7K410 XMC FPGA modules respectively. Block RAM is a must for fast data processing and this new family of XMC FPGA modules is a definite move in the right direction to accommodate that type of activity. Let's look at reason two. Now as for DSP slices for those that are utilizing the digital signal processing capability of FPGAs, you can see that the number of available DSP slices jumps from the 768 count in the XMC 6V LX240 to 840 and then on to 1540 slices in the new Kintec 7 based FPGA modules. This will speed the computations required for processing of images and waveforms immensely. Reason 3 reduced power consumption. The smaller die size of the Kintec 7 enables as much as a 50% reduction in power consumption over that used on earlier Xilinx FPGA devices. The Kintec 7 FPGA modules from Acromag lead in reduced power consumption over the very popular Vertex 5 and Vertex 6 FPGA modules offered by Acromag. Note that it is a power reduction based upon executing the same logic as was once executing in one of the earlier FPGA devices. Since the Kintec 7 is a large device, it is possible to do more and have more logic executing faster. These factors will cause the power consumption figures to grow. Simply, just remember, more logic, more power consumption. Faster logic, more power consumption. Moving on to reason number four, the easy to use Vivado development environment. 
Vivado is offered as an alternative to the ISE Foundation and includes some very valuable benefits. Xilinx touts a four times faster implementation, 20% better design density with more efficient placement and routing, a two speed grade performance up and 35% less power, C based IP generation, model based DSP design, block based IP integration, an integrated design and simulation environment, and programming in familiar VHDL, Verilog, and now the IP integrator. Designers seem to love the Vivado experience over that of the ISE Foundation. Let's take a quick look at the IP integrator. This is an example of adding a microblaze with interrupt processing to the Kintec 7 FPGA family using Vivado. The graphical nature of the logic additions makes for easier understanding and debug. Our design engineers have expressed their delight in Vivado, saying they'll never go back. Looking at reason 5, the GTX transceivers. GTX transceivers are built into the Kintec 7 FPGA device. These transceivers support PCI lanes in the times 1, times 2, times 4, times 8 range as well as other high-speed communications modes and protocols. They are used for the XMC interface of the Kintec 7 FPGA modules. On earlier XMC and PMC modules from Acromag, the bus interface was mostly implemented separately from the user-programmed FPGA. On the Vertex 6 and the Kintec 7 XMC FPGA modules from Acromag, the XMC bus is integrated right into the user-programmed FPGA. This increases the speed of the interface tremendously. The transceivers can be used for Aurora for board-to-board -board communications. They are used to drive the SFP Plus ports for 1 gigabit and 10 gigabit Ethernet. And the GTX transceivers are used to implement Zowie communications. Up to four channels on the XMC 7K325 and 410, either the AX or the CC versions. Reason 6. Three versions to support many applications. To meet the needs of Acromag's diverse customer base, three versions of the Kintec 7-based XMC FPGA were created. The first is the flexible front I.O. and Zowie communications version. The second, the conduction cooled and Zowie applications version. The third, gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet communications and packet processing. Let's take a look at these three architectures. First, let's look at the flexible front I.O. and Zowie capable version. This is the XMC 7K325 or 410AX, where AX stands for AXM mezzanine module. Note that the popular AXM modules from Acromag are supported on the front SAMTEC connector of the FPGA module. These AXM modules come in many valuable combinations including TTL, LVDS, CMOS and TTL, analog in at 105 MHz, analog I.O. with TTL, and custom versions as required. The Kintec 7 FPGA device at the center of the block diagram is either the Xilinx XC7K325 or the XC7K410. The parallel flash at the lower right corner of the FPGA device is used to keep the user programmed configuration. It is automatically loaded into the FPGA at power up. To the left of the FPGA device is 2 GB of DDR SD RAM. This is available for information processing storage. The connectors supported are the XMC P15 connector, which supports JTAG and the XMC bus up to eight lanes, the XMC P16 connector, which adds up to an additional eight PCIe lanes and LVDSIO, and the PMC P4 connector, which offers 64 single-ended LVTTL or up to 34 LVDS or some combo in between. JTAG is accessible from both the AXM mezzanine connector and the XMC P15 connectors. A Zowie channel requires four PCIe lanes. 
This XMC FPGA module can support up to four Zowie channels, two channels on the P15 connector and two more on the P16 connector. Notice that the FPGA heatsink and how, and how it is cut away to allow for access to the AXM module connector. Next, let's look at the conduction cooled version of the same Kintec 7 XMC FPGA module. Compared to the flexible front I.O. and Zowie capable version we just discussed, we see that, first, the heat sink covers the entire front area of the FPGA device, and the SAMTEC connector supporting the AXM mezzanine modules is not accessible. This larger heat sink helps to remove heat from the FPGA device in conduction cooled environments. JTAG is accessible only from the XMC P15 connector. The AXM connection is gone. The remaining features of this model, the XMC 7K, either 325 or 410 CC, are identical to that of the XMC 7K 325 or 410 AX version. The third and last configuration of the new Acromag Kintec 7 XMC FPGA is the front I.O. with SFP Plus ports for gigabit and 10 gigabit Ethernet communications and packet processing. This XMC FPGA module differs from the two we just discussed because of its two built-on SFP ports supporting gigabit and 10 gigabit communications. Each of the SFP ports can accommodate an SFP Plus plug capable of either copper or fiber. Between the two SFP Plus ports is a 36-pin high-density connector presenting 11 LVDS pairs, two global clock pairs, USB, ground, and JTAG to the outside world. This is the module to choose when high-speed Ethernet, TCP IP, or Aurora communications is the application. Now for reason 7, the best reason of them all. The new Acromag Kintec 7 XMC FPGA modules are very price competitive, less expensive than any other XMC FPGA module offered by Acromag other than the XMC SLX150. And it has more of everything an FPGA programmer needs than any other Acromag XMC FPGA offering. And we are taking orders and shipping these modules right now. I just want to thank you for participating and don't hesitate to call us at any time. At this time, we will be open for questions. Okay, uh, we have a question. And the question is, Vivado seems like a nice development environment, but can I program the Kintec 7 FPGA module with ISE? Yes, you can continue to use the ISE Foundation development environment to program the Kintec 7. Any other questions? Okay, here's a question on how to access the JTAG on the Kintec 7 product. Okay, well, the JTAG on the Kintec 7 product can be accessed in several ways. The first is that the XMC P15 connector supports JTAG, and it can be accessed from your single board computer or carrier card, which has the JTAG lines brought from the P15 connector out to a header. Acromag provides this header on a carrier card of ours called the APCE8675. Now, this card will accommodate the Kintec 7 card. It is a PCI Express carrier card, and the header will make you have access to the JTAG port. Now, there's another way. If you look at the XMC 7K325 and the 410, AX, which means that you have the AXM mezzanine support on the module, you can additionally get access to the JTAG by way of that of an AXM EDK module, which plugs onto that connector. Um, so that will also give you access to the JTAG. And the AXM EDK module comes in the engineering design kit when you purchase this module. Now, there is one more module, and that is the XMC 7K325 and 410F. And the F is for the front I.O. with the SFP Plus. Now, on this module, 
you will get in the engineering design kit a, a little adapter card called a 5040-172. Now that module will give you access to the JTAG on, on, the, on that module. Uh, it plugs into the high density I.O. connector right on the front of the module. And again, I mentioned it comes in the, in the engineering design kit. Actually, the engineering design kit comes with the AXM EDK to support the AX version, and it comes with the 5040-172 to support the, the Kintec 7 with the front I.O. and SFPs on the front. So you get both of those in the same engineering design kit package. Now, any other questions there? Okay, we have one more question coming in. And uh, so uh, this customer has an older XMCSLX150 product that he's using, and he's wondering what's the best way to make the upgrade to the Kintec 7 card because it's bigger and faster. Well, my recommendation would be to migrate first to the Vivado development tool. Okay, the XMC SLX150 was programmed on the ISE Foundation. So once you migrate to the Vivado development tool, you would need to do a little bit of a conversion because the XMC SLX150 used the local bus. So what you're going to want to do is convert that over to the AXI bus. And this will require a little bit of VHDL. Uh, you can also use the Vivado Create and Package IP Wizard to assist with this effort. Um, the P4 connector, which is the rear I.O. connector, and the AXM connector, which supports the AXM mezzanine modules on the front of the card, the logic for both of those is consistent between the SLX150 and the 7K um, 325 or 410 AX. There will only be some very small constraints file changes that will be required to re-implement that logic for those connections. I think at that point, you're going to be good to go. And I hope that answers your question there. Uh, we're running out of time here. Um, if you have any other questions, we welcome you to uh, send those in uh, to solutions at acromag.com or to give us a call at 248-295-0310, and we'll be happy to take care of those questions. Again, I want to thank you for attending the seminar today, um, and I look forward to talking with you and assisting you with your applications. Uh, have a really great day. Thank you very much, and I'm, this is Roland Demko with Acromag's Embedded Solutions Group signing off. Bye-bye now.